Today we're going to be talking about the easiest way that you can get ethernet from the basement or one floor through to the next floor of your house. So let's do this. I need to start off with a disclaimer on this video because while this is definitely the easiest and most reliable method to get ethernet from anywhere in your home, including from your finished basement to your upstairs, um, it's definitely not the cheapest. But this channel is dedicated to showing you guys cool technology and easy ways to do things, so I thought that this would still be a good video to do. When I bought my new house, I was a little bummed because the basement was finished, so this mean, meant uh, you know no whole home audio downstairs and no ethernet. Well, at least I thought no ethernet until I read up about ethernet over coax, also known as mocha adapters. For those that don't know what mocha is, it's a technology that provides high bandwidth reliability for in-home backbones using existing coax. See, almost every house is already wired with coax for cable TV. In fact, a report shows that 90% of all U.S. homes are. So as I'm trying to lay out my home network, I was thinking to myself that surely there's a good reliable way to use this coax. So I wanted my equipment to be in the basement, my networking equipment, but I needed to get physical Ethernet access upstairs for IP cameras, my home theater PCs. Um, so here is where the Action Tech Bonded Mocha 2.0 comes into play. Other products on the market, they just weren't going to cut it. I'm doing heavy video streaming over my network, including IP cameras that record 24-7, and I just can't rely on wireless for these types of things. So trying to use wireless extenders or power line modems over the house wiring, it just wasn't going to cut it. I needed speed and I needed reliability that is as close to, if not the same reliability as Ethernet. And thankfully, due to the Action Tech Mocha adapters, I get exactly that. So let's look at a diagram on how it's wired and why it works. I've drafted these very precise diagrams in an expensive program called Microsoft Paint. Here we have rooms one through six, and rooms four, five, and six are in the basement in this example. But this would also apply if you wanted to do this in rooms one and two. It doesn't matter where the rooms are. In a typical install, you'll have a cable box on the side of your house where all of your rooms come together. This is the common connection point, and this is how we are able to communicate from one room to another. For the ease of this diagram, let's just focus on wanting to connect room 3 and 4 together. Here you can see that we have a standard coax TV jack in each room. Our network signal is originating from the basement, and we don't have Ethernet upstairs, so that's what we're going to achieve with the Action Tech Mocha adapter. These adapters are the same are all the same. In other words, you can flip-flop the adapters because one is not specifically built to be only on the originating Ethernet end where the internet is. We will place one Action Tech downstairs and plug it into the coax jack and also plug the Ethernet cable into the network switch downstairs. Th think of this as injecting internet now into the coax cable. So we'll go upstairs and we'll plug another Action Tech in and we'll hook that into the coax jack as well and this action tech knows to become the receiver. Now when you plug in this uh, Ethernet into a computer, um, you can plug it into a computer or, in a, my case, you can plug it into a network switch so you can have more ports um, in the upstairs or the other end where you don't have Internet. Um, and I've now connected these rooms together without running any cable because I'm using the existing coax that was already there. This works because the rooms are technically connected together at that common connection point where all the rooms coaxes come together at that splitter. You should always check your cable box because some cable companies will disconnect any unused rooms in the house. So if the rooms you are trying to connect are not uh, both on that splitter, then you'll need to make sure that you hook up those rooms so they're on the same splitter because that's our common connection point again. So now that you understand how they work, let's look at my real world example instead of looking at these awesome diagrams. All right, here I am in my basement. So this is where the internet originates. Um, there's my coax jack right there in the wall. And then down here, I've pulled out my Action Tech Mocha adapter. Um, so what's really nice about these is that it has a built-in splitter on this device. Uh, you don't have to use this, but this is an, a perfect example as to why you would use this. I also have my modem from my cable company 
down here. And I'm also running the internet through that same coax. So what happens is the coax in is going into the wall. So this cable goes straight into the wall. And then I'm splitting off from that the cable that's then feeding my modem. So if you had a cable TV box then, and you still needed you know, to use this jack for your cable TV, then you know, you'd go ahead and from the wall, the wall directly, you would plug it into the coax in and then this would go to your cable box for your TV. And in my case, it's just going to the, the modem. All right, and so then all we have to do is plug in the ethernet cable and that's going into my router. And e essentially we're injecting ethernet into our mocha adapter, which is then going onto the coax and then back to the splitter, essentially on the outside of the house. All right, so then, so now that we're injecting our ethernet over our existing coax, no wiring being run at all, we can go upstairs and look at the receiving end, which is gonna look pretty much exactly like this. But then uh, this is going into a network switch, which is then giving me my physical ports upstairs. So let's go ahead and check out the receiving end of this. All right, we're upstairs on the receiving end. So we've got our coax from the wall going into our other action tech up here. Up here, I don't have a cable box, so you don't have to use the built-in splitter. But we're receiving the internet from downstairs and we're outputting it on this ethernet cord. And what I'm doing, so I have more ports, I've just got a standard desktop switch here that's giving me a, a lot more ports. And now I've got ethernet upstairs without running any wire. So I've also then, to feed my IP cameras, I have run a, an ethernet cable from here that goes up the wall out to the garage and is feeding another switch with all of my IP cameras. So that ethernet cable goes all the way back to that jack where we were just at and that's feeding another switch. So I've got a lot of devices use, that are running over that mocha adapter and I've had zero problems and it's very reliable and very fast. So I would definitely recommend it and it's, it's the easiest way that you can get ethernet across levels of your house. So there you have it guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. You know the drill, like, subscribe. Until next time, thanks guys.